how the rear ultrasonic occupancy alert sensors work and how to use the system in your Hyundai vehicle. So the first thing I wanna do is show you guys how you know the system is active and how you can disable and enable it in the infotainment system. So here I am in this 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited and the easiest way to know that the system is currently active is that once you turn off the vehicle and open the driver's side door, the check rear seat symbol comes up in the right side of the digital gauge cluster. And if you notice at the very bottom of the alert, there was a little alarm and an off symbol, and that is controlled here on the right side of the steering wheel. So for example, you don't want the alarm to function just this one time after getting outside the vehicle. You can simply press the okay button on the right side of the steering wheel, and that will disable the alarm from functioning just until the next ignition cycle. And if for some reason you know your Hyundai vehicle is equipped with the rear occupant alert, but is not turned on, you can go here to the infotainment system and enable or disable the feature. So first go to setup, vehicle, and then scroll down here on the right side all the way down to convenience. And right at the top, you can see rear occupant alert. There's a little check box next to it. Basically, if the box is unchecked, the system is turned off. If the box is checked, the system is turned on. And it's worth knowing that Hyundai Kia Genesis actually has three versions of the rear occupant alert. The first one does not actively monitor the inside of the vehicle, but rather uses the door sensors to tell whether the rear doors have been opened or closed after the ignition cycle is over and after the driver's side door has been opened and closed. Now, typically this one is usually called the door fusion type or the door function type, uh, something along those lines to where it only uses the door sensors to tell whether the rear doors have been open or closed. The next one is the ultrasonic rear occupant alert, which is the one I'll be demonstrating in this video. This one actively monitors the rear seat of the vehicle using the ultrasonic sensors mounted on the roof above the rear seats. So this one combines the functionality of the rear door sensors along with the ultrasonic sensors mounted on the roof to tell whether there's an occupant still in the vehicle. And the last one that Hyundai Kia Genesis has recently introduced is a radar based system. And currently this one is only in the GV70 that I am aware, but is likely to expand into other models here shortly. But this one basically is an approved version of the ultrasonic sensors that can detect more still objects and very minute movement inside the vehicle. So in case there's somebody sleeping and they're basically only breathing and that's their only movement, this system can actually pick up on that very minute movement and still set the alarm off somebody's left inside the vehicle. So hopefully this helps you better understand these systems and the differences between them. The ultrasonic is good because it detects uh, larger movements overall, but it might not capture somebody that's just breathing that is very still inside the vehicle, whereas the radar based system uh, should capture those very minute movements. So let's go ahead and get on to demonstrating the ultrasonic system here in the Santa Fe. So here I am sitting in the rear seat of the Hyundai Santa Fe. As you can see, the vehicle is running. And here is the key fob, which is an important aspect of the system, although you can use the button on the door handle if you have the proximity key in your pocket or something and exit the vehicle to lock it. But either way, the vehicle will need to be locked. So here's the key fob. I'm gonna to pretend to get out of the vehicle by turning the vehicle off, opening the door, there's the alert on the center infotainment system. Closing the door. And then locking the vehicle, simulating me walking away from the vehicle. As you can see, the vehicle is locked. Now the system will take a few seconds to activate. Even with the key fob inside the vehicle, the system works. So then we wait, sitting here in the rear seat. And eventually, the horn will sound, as you guys heard. And that's because these sensors detected movement inside the rear seat. Now, Hyundai says that this system stays active after the vehicle is locked for up to 24 hours. So in case there's any movement inside the vehicle, the system is active for 24 hours after the ignition is turned off and the vehicle is locked. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long the horn will sound for each time, but Hyundai says the system is able to repeat the alarm system for up to eight times in a row. Now, the alert methods that the system will use is the horn will sound outside the vehicle, the lights may flash, and if you have the blue link registered on your phone via the app, you'll get an alert notification that there may be an occupant inside the vehicle 
again, via that Blue Link app. So hopefully you guys better understand how the rear occupant alert system works in some of these Hyundai vehicles and the different systems that Hyundai offers. So if you did find this video helpful or just enjoyed watching it, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos and the channel. And if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of the content that is currently available, including other automotive related how-to content and 2023 mod year change videos. Now let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the rear occupant alert systems in these vehicles. Personally, I think they are just a safety bonus considering the technology, again, is not too expensive. And some of these vehicles with the passive door only systems use technology that's already inside the vehicle. So once again, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.